Hello, everybody. This is Punisher, the Frugal Streamer. I wanted to show you a quick thing. Somebody actually requested this. Uh, and this is going to be a really quick one. Uh, but this is going to be a Streamlabs uh, tutorial for their new chatbot. And this is related to timers. Uh, so what are timers? Well, you might know them better as automatic messages. Uh, the name's kind of misleading in, in the chatbot, but that's what it is. And you can find it. It is the fifth command down here. Let's see. we we'll click on it. And... That is what it looks like right there, guys. So timers are pretty easy. Um, I've made three of them right here that I use, and these automatically come up, and they're pretty easy to set. So if you want to add one, uh, you just name it, you know, whatever. Uh, you know, I could just make, it's just name it uh, YouTube 2. And uh, you want it, if you want it to be active, you make it, make it true. If you don't want it to be active, you make it false. Uh, you could put it in both your Discord and your Twitch chat, or you could do both of them at the same time. I do Twitch chat, and then uh, uh, group right here, just have general right now. Uh, but your response could be, you know, I don't know, check out, whatever. It's just some message, you know. You know, at, uh, let's see, YouTube.com, and I'll do Don't Revive Me, Bro. Anyway, so then you submit that, and uh, so now you have this here. Now, the YouTube 2 is not going to show up, okay? But what will happen is uh, when you have your stream live, after about a certain amount of time, your messages are going to start showing up, and uh, what they will do is they will, you know, they will offset each other. Now, one thing that I have learned, that you can go into settings here, and I... Uh, if you want to link your timers to true, then that's what you set your timers at. And you can set the interval here in the amount of minutes that you want them to start showing up. Okay. And then, of course, you can set the minimum amount of chat lines that you want to use uh, for your commands. And so that's pretty simple as far as that goes. But one thing I did see that you would have to do in here, if you go to localization, and you go down to you go to your timers right here. Um, it shows you some different commands, okay. And one of the things that I saw, if you want to activate the timers, is you have to do exclamation point activate. And let's see, I'm trying to let's get down here to timers. There you go. So here are your different commands that you could do. So here's your activate I was telling you about. You got timer edit, timer remove, timer add. So as you can tell here, and I'll bring up, this is from my stream I just finished doing. Um, let's see, here's a here's one of them right here. Here's my YouTube channel. So, you know, these do work. They just, should, you know, they're just automatic messages that show up in chat. So it's really simple, really easy to do, guys. I hope you, uh, I hope this helped you out. I hope it kind of explained it better because when I first saw it, I didn't understand what, what the crap are timers. And I put two and two together. I was like, oh, it's auto messages. So anyway, that's it, guys. I hope to help you out. Uh, real quick uh, demo and uh, tutorial. But I guess uh, you know some people are confused by it. And I can understand. But that being said, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, hit the like and subscribe to uh, the channel for more streaming and you know, streaming tutorials and reviews, that sort of thing. I will be looking at, uh, real soon, looking at a comparison between OBS Studio and the new XSplit. Okay, guys, that is it. This is Pun Frugal Streamer, and we'll see you out there. Bye-bye.